Hey there, YouTube friends. Mass Bandit here. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I always do appreciate it. And well, 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 what do we have here? We have ourselves some conifer slopes. We are back again. Um, yeah, how about this? Uh, decided to jump back in, got some inspiration. Uh, actually, what it was, was um, I've been wanting to do something more theme parky related, less zooey related. Those of you that are familiar with Zuri Gardens know that John T and I are building a zoo in Planet Coaster. And while that's lots of fun, and it totally is, and I'm loving every second of it, it doesn't offer as many opportunities for fun ride builds as this does. And I've been itching to uh, build a coaster and Truth be told, we had a, a hyper coaster in this park f months for months, long, long time, and uh, it was okay. But um, the reason that this hasn't come back sooner is because while I spent a crap ton of time on that hyper coaster, I was never really satisfied with it, and I think deep down I always knew that. So it prevented me from really going hog wild. So. On a whim the other day, I decided to go ahead and jump in and try and rebuild the hyper coaster, which was a major endeavor from someone like me who, who struggles with coaster building. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and pretend that I'm an expert coaster builder. I am no Kinderly or Emacs Magnus or any of the other fantastic coaster builders in the community. Uh, but I, I, I went ahead and did it, and it went faster because I learned a lot in my first process, and I built a layout that I think fits a lot better. Which sort of, um, you know, it's one of those self-fulfilling prophecy kind of a things. You, you build it, and then all of a sudden, like, oh, I have all this inspiration now. Let's get it going. So what we're working on here is actually the station for the hyper coaster that is going to be in the Wild West area. And this is actually the first part, then, of the Wild West area. And the majority of videos uh, from here on out are going to be of this area. In fact, I would say just about all of them are going to be of this area. And, and how often are they going to be visiting you? I don't know. <laughs> this might be the only one for a really long time. I really don't have a clue. Uh, the good news is, as we sit here on uh, the 11th of June, as I'm recording this, hopefully this is out a few days later, uh, summer has started. I'll be taking a trip, but I'll have all of July to get a lot of work done. So I'm hopeful. My wife has been awesome enough to allow me another, quote, YouTube day once a week try and get content out to you more regularly something i want to try and do for you guys over the summer and uh, i have a project a, a, a small summer planko project in the back of my head that i'd like to do and it may mean that this is the only conifer slopes video you get for a while but once again a friendly reminder that none of my projects are ever deleted are ever canceled are ever gone unless i explicitly say they are and i don't usually explicitly say a project is gone so if you're curious about my other projects on the on the on the channel other other things i've been doing uh the drawing videos i have a couple of those out i am going to get back into those um i've only got maybe two more episodes to finish the first map drawing um no name landia i don't know when an episode of that will be back but uh Recently, Mike has been working on it, and I currently have the file, and after I wrap up my Conifer Slopes uh, stuff here, I'm considering jumping back into No Name Landia and doing some work. We are so close to finishing it, and we will. We, we, it may take a while, but we will finish that. Um, and other projects that Zuri Gardens will continue with Jaunty on a weekly or bi-weekly basis, so... And then there's going to be some non-planet coaster things coming your way. I'm not quite sure. I think Parkitect is going to make a return here. And we're going to try also to get uh, some new games. Maybe, just maybe, uh, if the rumors are true, some Planet Zoo beta. That'd be pretty cool. We'll see if that happens. But uh, more on that in the future. Let's talk about Conifer Slopes. So... Uh, the thing here that's been a struggle is the layout of this area. I want to make sure that people actually use the train for transport. And so, uh, big shout out to Wings and Strings, who if you've been watching the um, uh, No Name Landia series, if you've been watching Bro Coaster, you know who Wings and Strings is by now. Uh, he did a mock, uh, a mock drawing of Conifer Slopes and what he thought would work best. 
And I'm kind of following that, kind of not following that. Some things just don't kind of work. But this is his idea, is to have this path, or to have this train station right here, and have the hyper coaster really, really close to it, which makes total sense. And meanwhile, you have this meandery path to get to the park, to get to the coaster. And uh, hopefully that will work just splendidly. So here we are working on the train station for this area, and it goes through a couple design um, choices before I land on something uh, quite simple. Like I actually don't even use these walls. These these are these are just temporary. So we're gonna get rid of these. It just it felt too boxy. It felt too heavy, and I thought this would make much more sense as a much lighter station build. Um, so that's what we kind of focus on here for a, for a good chunk of our time lapse today is uh, the station building. You'll also notice the rest of the area is just uh, pretty much void of anything. And that's sort of intentional. One of the things that um, Kinderly, if you're, I mean, we've talked about him and he's been on some of our videos for Bro Coaster. Kinderly has mentioned that he likes to build the buildings and the rides and do everything, including foliage, before putting down the paths. Like the paths are the last step. And it creates a much more organic and realistic look. And that might be something we try a little bit for this western area. And that being said, you can see the path from the station to the to the coaster, but hey, whatever. So, um, yeah, we'll see how that works. I'm not quite sure what I want in this area yet. I have to. I, I want it to look similar enough to the original version, but at this point, there is so much different in this area uh, compared to the original conifer slopes that we're kind of throwing everything out the window at this point and 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 i guess just the spirit of the park <laughs> the spirit of the park lives on so we'll see what happens but i'm not quite sure where i want to go so if you have a suggestion um go ahead and throw it in the comments let me know what you think would be awesome for this western area uh the coaster the hyper coaster will be the only coaster in the area i can tell you that right now i have an idea for like a wild west ghost shooting dark ride which I actually had that in the version two of Conifer Slopes for Planet Coaster or for uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon, and never actually got there. So that'd be really cool. I might do that. I do have the Ghostbusters DLC. Um, it'd be kind of neat to play around with that idea of a Wild West like ghost shooting gallery ride. I think that'd be kind of fun. So maybe we'll add that because I know a lot of people in the past have said that Conifer Slopes needs a uh, dark ride. So we'll see what happens. But. Uh, other than that, I, I don't have much in the way of what I want to go here. The original version had a stunt show. I'm not sure if we'll do that. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. So, But it is good nice to be back. This is kind of my ship in a bottle park. It's always nice to be back into this project. Um, I know it goes away for a long time, and continuity isn't my strength, but just hopefully you're excited to see this on the channel today. And... Uh, hopefully we can get some more in the future <laughs> and with that being said um, i do want to go ahead at this point and jump into a real-time portion so that you can see uh up close and personal i'll give you a bit of a tour of what i've been working on since the last video as well as an up close look at what we've been doing on the time lapse thus far so hold tight and i will be right with you for the real-time portion all right, so here we are in the real time, and I wanted to give you kind of a look from ground level of what's going on here. Uh, you can see the coaster is just going over the lift now as another one. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. We have an overbank turn over here uh, as we get close to the exit. And I just wanted to show you a bit of what's going on here. I want to show you the station in full. At first, I was really unsure of this giant ramp. However, that's pretty much... Uh, I think that's that's pretty okay. I've been on plenty of coasters that stations are this tall, and these ramps are just like this. Uh, they might not be as prominent. They might have been on the other side. I guess maybe I could have switched the station to the other side, but I'm going to give that the old shrug bandit. <laughs> that's like a quick jaunt through the queue. You can see we have lots of work to do here, but you get a better view of the coaster here as it roars through the area. I like this, that this is both the beginning and the end of the queue here. And as such, it'll be interesting. I, I always like that when you think, oh, I'm almost there. But then you enter the cattle pen of doom. 
and you sit there forever. Although that's not that bad. To be fair, that's not that bad. It's a pretty short queue for such a ride. But uh, we got ourselves a really, really simple cover here. I might add some detail here just to, to shore this up, just to make it look a little less uh, bad, <laughs> for lack of a better word. Going to add some... Obviously, we need fencing throughout. We might add some concrete pads down here. But you can you, hopefully, and we need to obviously do all this on this side. Hopefully, you're starting to get an idea of uh, what's going on with the station here and uh, the ride in general and the, the kind of look we're going for. Got our basic transfer track here. It's definitely not hiding. It's pretty obvious here. Might add some more planters or maybe something over here to block your view. But, I mean, you're going to see it. Conifer Slopes, while it's a theme, quote-unquote, park is not the highest budget of parks so one of the things these are uh, these right here the railroad crossing are theme makers toolkit items i have gone ahead and downloaded a few uh just a couple and i don't know how many are going to make them into the park but uh, these two definitely did i like this a lot this is something i pulled off the workshop this little train cover here um at, I think the link is in the description below, and hopefully if you're into it, you can... It came with a lot more. I basically just got the cover part of it here. It comes with its own set of gates and stuff like that, but these are Theme Maker Toolkit, and they actually are animated. The only issue is, with being this close to the station, I'm not exactly sure how easy it's going to be to get them to time up, but I think this is actually kind of a nice little view here. You get kind of the... I like that. So hopefully you're enjoying it as well. As far as the station goes, we've got ourselves an entrance over here. I might knock down a bunch of this queue. Uh, we've got <clears throat> just the basics of the station here. We need to add some clutter and detail, but I like the uh, trusses that we have here. I think they look pretty good. We've got a bit more substantial area here. You can see with the in-game wooden archways kind of signifying where the actual building is, and it accompanies this big... Uh, sh a steep pitched roof here that's kind of I think it looks fine it's a small but I think once it's all in once everything is built up around it it'll look better it looks a little bizarre now let's not kid ourselves but to be fair this station looked just hideous when I first started but now I think with the details in and all the stuff around it I actually think it fits quite nice I think it looks pretty good hopefully you agree we've got our transfer track back there and uh, that's, I, I hate to say that that's it, but that's kind of it. It's been, it's been a while just getting to this point because I've had to rebuild the coaster. What I do want to do is I want to walk uh, back to where the park actually is. You can see here, here's the bridge. If you're curious of where this area actually is in the park in relation to everything else, if you've taken a look at phase one, which is on the workshop, you can see that, oh, the coming soon fencing right here by Santa's Command of Santa's Workshop and Gifts. You remember this? I remember this. Now we got this awesome music playing and all the rides around us. It's kind of right in the center of the park. That's where it is. But I want to show you how now with this hyper coaster here, everything, the views have just completely changed. So as we come here to Excel, we get the peak of the lift over there. And you can just see now, it just totally dominates everything around it, which I think is really, really cool. So I just wanted to give you a reminder. Remember this park? <laughs> We've got category five over here. And it's, there it goes. Oh, nope, it's not going. It's just running the track, of course. But you get this bopping uh, techno music, the, the house music, the dubstep, all that yes. So. I think there's a train probably waiting to launch, isn't there? Category 5. But, like, I love this view. This is exactly what I was hoping for when this opened. And we got the silly snack shack. But now, you can see we've got the addition of this hyper coaster here with these hills. Big shout out to Kinderly. Kinderly was a... Excuse me. <laughs> Kinderly was a huge, huge help for me when... Uh, Oh, there goes Category 5. When building the Hyper Coaster, he was really patient with me and really helped me with my shaping. If you're one of those people that's all about it, you probably can already see a bunch of things wrong with this. But for me, this is probably one of the better shaped coasters I've done. 
I'm not gonna sit here and say it's perfect, but I think it 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 I think it comes across as a B and M hyper coaster pretty well. Like I love this view. You get this hill here. I think that's pretty neat with the spinner coaster playing in front of it. I'm I'm really really pleased with it. So, and as we walk back, there it is, cresting the hill. Here we'll we'll catch some views of it here. Let's come this way. So here's where you get this awesome interaction with the spinner and the hyper coaster in the back as a backdrop. Like, I just, oh, seeing it in motion, hopefully you get as excited about it as I am. I just think it's so neat. I think it's so fun. So, yeah, that's where we're headed. This has totally changed the, uh, the, the layout. This has totally changed the skyline and totally changed the backdrop of the park. Now from the wharf area, I mean, you've got the hills of the coaster and you can see here. I mean, it's just, it's everywhere. It's surrounding you in the back here. This fantastic area by Jaunty, the, the, the medieval area, the English area, I just, it's, it, this coaster is just everywhere now. You can't avoid it. I love it. I just think it's so cool. And there's so many great views now. So many great angles to take pictures from. And again, hopefully you agree. So I just wanted to show you how it fits in with the rest of the park here. And just a reminder that in the last episode, we shored up a bunch of this backstage stuff. All we got to do to it is add some clutter and some details and some doors. And then we'll be good to go with this area because it pops out right here onto our wharf area. So hopefully you are excited as I am to see what happens with this coaster and with the western area. Let's head back that way. So here we are right back in the western area. You can see we made like a mini loop. The Troika here. Yeah. I'm not sure if that's going to stay there. It may, it may not. I don't know. But this is all kind of on lockdown now. This is pretty much, oop, this is pretty much what's going to be here. It's going to be here, and we'll see what happens. So hopefully you enjoyed this very miniature tour. And with all that being said, I think it's time for me to get out of here. So if you liked the video, go ahead and hit the like button. Leave some feedback below, things you want to see, things you're excited about. And uh, if you're new and haven't yet, please consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss any of the fun content that we're going to be doing here in the next couple of weeks. So with that being said, have yourself a great day, great night, great whatever. And I will see all of you for the next episode of Conifer Slopes. Thanks so much. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.